Welcome to 5th of January's Godly Blessing. Now here we're going to talk about success. Success in any field of work can't be done alone. So obviously we will have a team of people or we'll be surrounded by souls who will be in some way or the other guiding us, helping us out, complimenting us or adding the values or adding the services to our plan or to our service. So in this kind of scenario, God has got a beautiful guidance or a direction for us. And today we're going to learn when to be a master and when to be a child and go ahead and work the team around. That means get help, get support and achieve your goals. So Godfather says in today's blessing, in his own words, he says, may you be the constant embodiment of success in your efforts and the service you do by having a balance of being a child and a master. Let's get into the details of this. What does it mean to be a child and what does it mean to be a master? God says, constantly have the intoxication. I'm a child and a master of the unlimited father and the unlimited inheritance. That means everything which is God's is mine provided I am following certain directions which God has told me, which we learn in Brahma Kumaris for sure. And then once I'm following those things by listening to the Supreme Creator and becoming his true child and at the same time claiming my complete goal of having his powers, his love, his wisdom, his knowledge, his divinity and being a master of all those things. So God says, however, when an advice has to be given, let's say in a setting or in a scenario where you have all your members, whether it's family members, whether it's your colleagues, whether it's your subordinates and when, whenever there has to be an advice be given, then God says any plan has to be made, any task has to be carried out, then do it as a master. When an advice has to be given, let's say somebody is asking for an advice, provided. A plan has to be made for certain things. Any task has to be carried out. Then do it as it as a master. Then when everything has been finalized by the majority of the instrument souls, now considering it's a family, not just a spiritual organization. It's a family, it's a spiritual organization, it's your home front, it's your job scenario, it's your business team. So God says, then when everything has been finalized by the majority of the instrument souls, become a child at that time. Because in those situations, you might have given your decision. But in those situations, at the end of the meeting, some people might say, what about this? Let's go ahead with this and majority might go ahead in a completely opposite direction. And at that time, if you try to become a master and if you bulldoze your ideas, if you become bossy, then God says you will not be considered as a leader or as a guide or as the right person for the team even. So God then says, become a child at that time. Learn the art of when to be an advisor and when to be one who follows advice. And you will be successful in both your efforts and service you do. So it's a teamwork, you see, you can't be going alone in one direction and the whole team going alone in the another direction. It has to be teamwork and you can't achieve things on your own. That's what we learn in Brahma Kumaris. In the world out there, you might have your ego and might use as the world, as we see in the world, you might use the power of the chair, you might use the power of money and everything to get things done. But God says when it comes to teamwork, when it comes to teamwork, even family is a team. When it comes to teamwork, it is important to know when to be a master and when to be a child. So this is what we learn in Brahma Kumari. It's a beautiful journey. This is where some of us have tussles, have quarrels, have misunderstandings, misjudgments, and then the work suffers. First the human beings, they suffer amongst each other and then the work suffers. So what is the aim? To get the work done, to be successful, right? So this is what God says, learn the art of when to be a master and learn the art of when to be a child. I hope you have understood this and may you apply this in your own life. With this, Om Shanti.